Edward, I, my first cocktail that I have to make is an espresso martini. And I feel like of all of the human beings in the world, you might know this piece of information, which was that apparently it was created for either Naomi or Kate. They walked into a bar and said that they wanted a cocktail that would pick me up and f*** me up. Oh, no, cocktail, but I'm definitely going to find out. Please, please. I like that story. We have to know. We need to know the truth. Hi, British Vogue. I'm Emma Watson, and this is the ultimate British taste test. I'm excited and terrified, mostly excited to see if I can do this. <laughs> I've made copious notes. Look, there's diagrams, there's amounts. This is true to me. I love learning and I love note taking. We're gonna be making Emma's espresso martini with chocolate. I like sweet things. And I'm gonna put a tiny bit of salt in there as well. Step one, making the glass cold. I only found this out yesterday, I'm not gonna to lie to you. This is called the pony, and this is called the jigger. So we're gonna do one pony of an espresso shot. So this is going in. Then we're also gonna balance that with sugar syrup. Vodka is what we have next. We're gonna do two parts to the other part. Lots of vodka, basically. This is what makes it an Emma espresso martini. This is my twist. It's a tiny bit of salt and a little bit of the cacao syrup, 25 ml. Okay, loads of ice. Shaking. It comes from the heart, everyone. It's a full body movement. This is a cool fact. Because this gets cold, it's what seals these two things together and it's what stops the liquid coming out. And I should go with two. Yes. And then these two things should come apart. <laughs> then I'm going to take the ice that's been cooling my glass out. This is called a hawthorn. So this kind of sits on top of your shaker. Wait, so I'm drink. God, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. The three little coffee beans that go on top of an espresso martini. One is for health, one is for wealth, and one is for happiness. And that is an Emma espresso martini. So the reason I'm excited to make this cocktail is because I get to crush ice. I'm taking off my shoe because there's no rolling pin. I need to crush this ice with something and I figure this is actually <laughs> Sorry, Misha. Maybe the best thing that I can do this with. Actually, this is better than a rolling pin. I'm not sure if Misha had this in mind when she designed this shoe, but I can attest it's an excellent kitchen implement. Thanks, Prada. This is a very English drink because it's made with blackberries, blackberry liqueur, which is the float. What's kind of like sits on top and it like trickles down. This is Renee. It's the gin that my brother and I made. I can't really remember how much gin is needed for this. I'm gonna just sort of make it up. Yeah, that looks about right. Then I'm gonna add sugar syrup. My father makes wine and has made wine since, well, before I was born actually. Alex had this amazing idea, take the skins and make them into like an incredible gin. It's also sustainable. We're taking something that would have just been thrown away and making something new out of it, which is why we called it Renee, which means rebirth. We're gonna put ice in here now. I have so much respect now for bartenders because it's so much work. It's exhausting. Like me shaking one cocktail, I'm like, great, that's me done for the night. Story, 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 story. Prada crushed ice. My only other hidden talent if cocktail making is considered a talent of mine now. I am really, really, really good at table tennis and spent many, many hours playing Dan Radcliffe and Rupert Grint. That was how I misspent my youth. This is the blackberry liqueur. Look how pretty it is. You put a blackberry on top. Isn't that cute? Ta-da! It's pretty good. I'm gonna make a foamy gin sour. It's gonna be an Emma gin sour because I'm gonna add a splash of my dad's wine in it. Shaker, two parts gin, one part lemon, one part sugar. And the idea with the sugar and the lemon is you're always trying to balance that like bitter and that sweetness all the time. I'm gonna start with my lemon. This is so fun. I feel like I'm the host of my own cooking show or something. My brother and I cook together. We host dinner parties. That's my idea of bliss. And actually, I'm really lucky. I have friends that cook, will cook for me as well. Okay, 
We've done one pony of the lemon. We're gonna do one pony of the sugar. Make it perfectly balanced. Two parts of Renee. Okay, this is the fun bit, or the like bit where things could go wrong, which is the egg. <laughs> I'm gonna crack my egg. So you want the egg white and not the yolk. Pass the yolk back and forth between two. Oh, I'm making a mess, but I'm doing it. Absolutely crushing it. So this is my dad's wine, Papa Watson, I call him. Thanks, Papa Bear. Deeply, deeply loved by my father is this wine. It was the reason that I slept in a very cold bedroom when I was a child because he used to store the wine bottles at the back of mine and Alex's room. So we would often complain that it was cold and he'd say, well, you've got to keep the wine at a certain temperature. I think that's probably the definition of a first world problem. Don't want to ruin the, ruin the Prada. I think I did it. Yes. Oh, look, it's foamy and eggy. There. <laughs> that's not my fault, by the way. That was the camera. Now we're going to do the real shake with loads of ice. In fact, I was supposed to have this on my shoulder the whole time, so now it's just been earned. Let's see how we did. Is it foamy? <gasps> Look, it's foamy! Yeah. It's happened again. I'm really sorry, by the way. People who do this professionally will be watching me like, this is painful. I don't feel like Hermione Granger has a cocktail. Do you know what I mean? But, you know, maybe in the later years, yeah, when things got really stressful and hairy, when she was had loads of responsibility and a really stressful job. Yeah! I'm going to do a lemon peel heart, which is going to go on the top. It's good. It's not my best. So this is my brother, Alex Watson, and we're going to see if we can make a Vespa martini in less than three minutes. Go. Time is here. Ah! Everyone is about to see how competitive Emma is. You're not making your glass chilled, so... Okay, vodka. Half a pony. Just half. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm messing it up because there's a time challenge. Just peas here. Three parts gin. Hang on. I'm okay. going to have to re-go. Go. Sorry, guys. You've got, you've got an advantage on me. <laughs> I've done gin. I've done vodka. What else is in the vest of martini? Lillet. Oh, I made it's that good. mistake, so you didn't have to. That's so kind of you. Okay, three ingredients. Right in my ear. <laughs> ah. Oh, ah. Oh. Yes! Uh -oh. Ah. I think I'm gonna win this. I can't believe it. This is outrageous. I've been stitched up. I want a revote. Oh, it's happening. Okay, we're gonna do the garnish. What? Because my Vespa is done. Oh, okay. As I'm doing this, I don't know if you can see the aroma coming off the peel. Once you've got the peel off, you can do this on the bottom of the glass. If you squeeze this way, you get all these aromas that sit on the top. So I'm making the garnishy bit. This is my favorite bit. Eat it's... you. Wait, yeah, but mine's gonna be prettier. Yours doesn't have any aromas. No, guys, look. Delicious. Look at this. <sighs> Come on. Yeah. We know who's as prettiest. It is good. It's a stiff drink though, but I like it. It's good. My glass is colder. This is what happens for any younger brothers who are just sort of coasting along like me and you have an overachieving sister. Let's stick together because it's tough out here. Love you. Oh. So we're going to make the Emma Spritz. My grandmother, Frida, um, used to collect elderflower and make elderflower cordial. So it includes elderflower cordial for my grandma. It's got my dad's wine in it, and then it's got my brother and my gin in it. One of Renee, one of elderflower cordial, this, which is made with this blue flower with Jean Tien, and it makes something called Suze. We're gonna do just a dash, a couple of dashes maybe. Splash of Damien Watson. That was a bit more than a splash, but all good. I've been directing and writing, which has been really amazing. It started during COVID and I just realized how much I loved it and that I wanted to keep doing that. And so actually studying now as well. To direct something that I'd written one day, that would make me pretty excited. I don't see myself as having stepped away from acting. I just see myself as wanting to expand what I do 
in being able to be in things that I have written or directed or produced. To really be at the start of a project it takes time. Films can be decades in the making, finding it and writing it and putting it together. I don't see it as a closing down, I see it as a as an opening up. Bit more ice, bit more soda water, get to the top. You want to just pull the Rene up from the bottom, but no stirring, guys. This cocktail, the thing that makes it made by me is the blue flower. Flowers are very important and very big part of my life. If you know me, then you know that there are flowers everywhere all the time. This cocktail is very special because I feel like it's got my grandma in it, it's got my dad in it, it's got my brother in it, it's got me in it. It's like truly a Watson creation. This is the best one. I'm Emma Watson. Thank you for watching British Vogue's Ultimate British Taste Test. Oh